Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to uh, split column on delimiters. So I've got some data here with me. Let me open my Power BI desktop and I've got the dim product table and you can see the product alternate key. So it's AR-5381 and everything follows a similar pattern. So what if I wanted to split on the hyphen and have two separate columns? Or we could probably do it on space as well. So we'll give it a quick go. So I'm, I'm on Power BI desktop and I'll go to home tab, edit queries and uh, again, edit qu queries. So I've clicked on that. Let me open my dim product table and you can see dim product alternate key. So let's say I want to split it on the hyphen. So I could just right click here and go to split column. And you can see it is giving the option by character, by delimiter, uh, by number of characters. So I will uh, just use by delimiter here. And I will say, um, yeah, I'm happy to use the hyphen. It's already selected that for me. And I'm just saying each occurrence of the, I could say the left mode store the right most. Um, but in this case, there's just one occurrence. So we'll just go with this and click OK. And you can see it split the column into two uh, columns now. So uh, let me just go and do the, let's just do a duplicate of English product name. So let's say we duplicate this column. And let me uh, bring it next to the English product name. So we and see, I'll just delete everything in between. So I've got a copy of this and now what I'll do is I'll just, I'll try to split this on space. So right click again and say uh, split column by delimiter. And this, in this case, we are just saying space. It's already picked that up and we'll just hit okay. So you can see here that it's um, giving us adjustable race and it's this one's split into three columns. And so, as many times it sees the space, it basically splits one more column, like mountain and caps. So I'm guessing it, it's just probably three spits or not four. Oh, so there are four. That's interesting. So let's see which one is not null here. And let's just see what the data looks like for this. I thought it would probably. So it's basically just, uh, thin jam and then it's done one split on hex and then one so it's basically got four columns so that's an interesting one um weird data or not i don't know but well yeah we've told it to split it on space and that's what it's done well i i hope you are able to split columns on delimiters and build your own etl going forward and i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what i'm doing and uh, yep have a good night or day or good time of the day. Cheers. Bye.